Brian Money, Brian Money Business Spurs here. I was asked if I could make a video doming buckles and how I dome buckles. I use high heat solder, so I put my silver on first. I put it on flat. That's what I got. My blank that I cut out. I put it upside down. And uh, I made this years ago. You can make it out of wood. It's just a doming block. I beveled it out and domed it out. And put my buckle in there. Now I have an eight pound shot put where I have this bowling ball. I'll take this bowling ball. And dome it. If I need more dome on a certain side, that's it. That's doming them. And it's by eye, really. You can dome it too much. If you dome it too much, the reason I keep this tab in here is to keep these parts from sucking in. If you dome it too much, they still will, and this will bend up. I have a rubber mallet, and I put that on my on my uh, anvil, and I'll tap it. Actually, it'll be like that. I'll hit it. I'll hit it right here where my thumb is, and flatten it back out if it bends in. Now I'll cut this out after I've got it domed and measure this distance to make sure it's an inch and a half for this buckle. If it's not, I'll put it in my vice jaws and open my vice jaws up and spread these two pieces apart till they're an inch and a half. Then I'll, now my next step is to put my tab in here, drill my holes. I drill holes in all my buckles and, and add my, my keeper backs here. For my tongues for the buckles I don't put tongues in buckles they mess up the belts I put a, a tab here for it to attach to the belt that's it you can make it a, a dome and block you can whittle out a, a stump I got a big ass stump right here I got all my stuff on this is a big two by two pecan tree it's heavy as hell that's it nothing fancy here man and I'll do each buckle that way. And then I'll countersink my holes and put my stuff in. That's my next one. I'm going to put it in there. And then from there, I'll put the backs on. I'll polish them out. And then I'll blue them. I like to build two or three at a time. This time I'm building five. Because bluing, hot bluing, bluing salt, I cook them 280 degrees, 260 degrees to get the blue color. And the finish on these buckles. <clears throat> well, it takes a lot of time to do that. So I like to do three to five or six, however many I can keep from gathering a surface rust on and keep hot polished to put in there. I've got three I've got to repolish that I that I've already built while I'm working on these two, and, and uh, I've kept them as away from humidity as I can, but they're still getting the surface rust on there. So they've got to be shiny and free of any anything on them as far as grease compound uh polishing stuff they, they got to stay that way or they will not blue right and they'll they'll leave a rusty finish that's how blue buckles i mean that's how i dome these buckles for the guy that asked for the video here it is so a big deal you can make you can also use some metal doming block doming metal domers uh, it's best to put a piece of leather in there because if you hit them hard enough, it will dent your silver or copper or brass, it, especially your copper. It'll dent it and, and uh, cause it to have waves in it or an indention in there that you can't get out unless you, you know, really sand on it to smooth it up. But anyways, and you'll still run into that problem. With wood, you don't have the... It won't, it, it's not going to bend it as fast because the wood's softer and it's going to give compared to the silver or the steel. That's why I use wood. 
I've made this myself. It's just a little piece of block, a little piece of wood. And there's better ways to do it. This is what I've had for eight years. So it's still two by six. <laughs> it's uh, it's dry now, and, and every time I hit it, pieces of the wood pop out. As you can see, they're all over the floor. It's starting to disintegrate. The layers of the wood, they're starting to pop out. But that's what I've used. Or I've domed over... 300 buckles in that at least all kinds of buckles from head stall buckles to belt buckles to cinch buckles to you name it that's it man and if it goes out I'll just take a I'll just cut another piece out it, it'd be better I didn't have a I didn't have a four by six I didn't have a six by six uh, square it'd have been better because of the the weight of it uh, a, a stump works real good um, stumps work really good. Actually, they last longer, and you can do different holes in there. And I did it with a skill saw. It's not you got to be careful when you do it. You just kind of measure out your hole and then put it on there and slightly cut a circle around it. A router will work too. You can start your hole with a router, and then and router out you uh, a concave. I think it's concave or convex. I can't remember the exact terminology of the the dish. I think it's concave. Convex is out. Anyways. That's it. This video, how to dome belt buckles. Six minutes of boring information. Have a good one.